Hello, I'm Patrick, and I'm going to teach you how to play golf. So, first of all, you need some equipment to play golf. In this case, I have two golf clubs, a driver and an iron, and one golf ball. Okay, so once you've gathered your materials, you get a golf club, like I have an iron right here. Um, a good one that can... that where you can hit pretty far, not a driver or some one that's meant for short purposes, but this is for your start off. So you wanna so you wanna step take a few steps back. You wanna grip the golf club very firmly like this. And before you do about five or so practice swings. So first you just do some easy ones like that one. Then you can start making them a little bit faster. Don't fall through yet. Well, okay. So, once you got that, you can go slow and go all the way through, just so you kind of know where you're going to hit. Okay, so then you, this, this is the one right before you're going to hit it. You want to get, like, a feel how hard you're going to hit it. So you go, you want to grip this one very firmly. You want to aim steady. Wherever the wind is, you want to um, aim for the opposite direction. So in this case, I'm over there. So, get ready. This is, remember, this is a practice swing. Grip it very firmly, steady, and you want to swing through. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so after you do some practice swings, um, you want to get the ball, and you want to, and, and you just want to hit it as far as you can. So first. You have to mount the ball and get in your ready position. Okay, so once you start, you want to get your feet squared up to the where you're going to hit. Okay, so once your knees are bent and you're ready to go, you put the ball in place. Okay, so you want to <coughs> stay. Ugh. Right there. Stay. Stay right there. Oh. Oh. Okay, so now that we've done the practice swings, we got the supplies, and we know how to stand, so we're now ready to swing. So what you want to do, you want to grip it firmly like before. You want to bring it back, all the way back, not as... Uh, basically as far as you can. I'm not going to actually hit it, but you want to go down and swing fast and hard. Okay, so now, now I'm going to do it for real. Okay, bring it back over your head, get your position ready, firmly, ring steady. Ninety-nine? One hundred! Oh, hey! I was just in the middle of my usual workout, you know. Um, okay. So after you've swung the, and the ball, or the golf club, and you hit the ball, the ball goes flying. And now it's probably close to the tee. So, what you want to do, is you want to get a mallet, or a sledgehammer would work, work fine too. You want to go to the final hole. You want to go and you want to make it bigger so your chances are better. Makes life a whole lot easier. Now let me get back to my workout. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so all you have left to learn is hitting the golf ball into the hole. All right, you want to get a driver or another golf club that's meant for short distance hitting. So once you've got it, Line up just like we did earlier. Same swing, but but it's different. So you want to hit it very lightly, not not hard, but lightly. So do some practice swings like this. 
You don't want to hit it very hard because or else it would go overshot into the water. And you don't want that happening. Because why don't you want that happening? Hmm. Oh, anyways, um so you square up. You just like before you ain't you hold the golf club firmly. Take it. Do some more practice swings. Okay, so do some more practice swings. Alright, so once you got it, you get this is for real now. You get it? play golf you can apply it to your daily school lives as well as work lives like finance let me think clock makers hmm who else ooh the president yeah that's a good one hmm construction workers millionaires billionaires not billionaires or millionaires any other job you can think of okay so now I've taught you how to play golf the best way the easiest way and the cleanest way and it causes absolutely no harm or destruction what on earth <laughs> 